Hey guys, got a buddy of mine got us permission to hunt about 55, 60 acres of new land here. It's uh, four fields. Each field's about 15 acres, uh, separated by these trees. <clears throat> but uh, we're about three, four miles, maybe I don't know, a couple of miles from one of the most significant battles of all the American Civil War. Um, extreme fighting um, but we're kind of anxious to get out I brought uh, hardcore hazel along with me today and we're basically just going to scout each of these four fields see what's there if anything pops up and um, if we find anything good concentrate in one area then instead of just running all over the property but uh, thanks for coming along we'll see you in the next hole sorry for the noise I'm Right out along the road here, pretty close. Uh, but I uh, got a good signal in this hole. Strange dirt. It sounds like a bullet, but the signal kept breaking up, so I thought maybe there was iron in with it. But uh, here we go. deal. Bullet from the American Civil War. See you in the next hole. Looks like we got ourselves an aluminum bolt off of a crossbow. Yep. See you in the next hole. I right, got a decent signal down here, uh, about six inches deep. God, it's what it's all about, baby. Eagle breastplate, sweet. It's been a really, really tough hunt today. We've walked miles and miles, and uh, I got one bullet way back at the beginning of the road, and. Uh, Everything's just been iron, horseshoes, buckles, farm stuff. Not much Civil War related. And uh, I have to say we're about three miles away from one of the most, the second most significant Civil War battle in America. And I'm just surprised we're not finding what I thought we would. Um, but hey, I'll take the bullet and the eagle breastplate. I don't know if it'll focus there, but uh, this is only the second one I've ever found, and this one's in really bad condition. But uh, that's our American history, baby. Proud to have it. Alright guys, got another target here. Get the pinpointer down in there. Alright. 
that's in my hand here. Oh, I see it. Round ball. Fired round ball. Sweet. See you in the next hole. All right, got another little target here. There it is. Can you see it? How about that? Beautiful little three ringer. Drop. Love it. Another piece of our American history. Saving them one relic at a time. We'll see you guys in the next hole. Alright. Got a pretty decent signal here in this plug. Crack it open and uh, see what we have here. And we have a modern bullet. See you in the next hole. Alright guys, as promised, next hole. Got, well, I'm lying to you, there was two holes in between here, but it was both chunky trash. But, uh, you can see another drop three ringer right here. Absolutely love it. All right, guys, quick video here just to wrap it up. Had a pretty good hunt today. Uh, got permission to hunt about 55, 60 acres, something like that. Um, I know this is a common story in all my videos, but. Uh, all this land is getting ready to be leveled flat. Um, some developments and things going in. It's They're just eating our battlefields up piece by piece. But I uh, got permission to come out and hunt. Brought Hazel along. This was our first trip here. She did pretty good today. Found a couple of things she had to get going. So I stayed a little longer. But uh, anyway, just a quick wrap up. I found... Uh, Two drop three ringers, uh, carbine, 50 cal carbine bullet, a base to a Williams cleaner, round ball, a little piece of brass jewelry, I'm not sure what that is yet, um, deer antler shed, and I'm assuming this thing goes to an oil can or something, but uh, all in all, pretty good day, I'll definitely be coming back and uh, Hunting these fields again, a little harder, focus more on the area where I was finding stuff. Today was just more of a scouting journey where all four fields, there's one close to the road, there's a second one, a third one, and a fourth one, all divided by a little strip of wooded area that you can see behind me. Beautiful fields. Um, it's a shame to see this part of our battlefield get destroyed, but it's a common theme. But uh, one of the neat things about today's hunt that I do want to mention, I've been metal detecting for about 20 years, um, land and water, and I've only ever found two U.S. Eagle uh, breastplates. Uh, I found this one today. I know the sun's not the best, I'm trying to catch a video here before it gets dark. But uh, the Eagle breastplates, um, I've only ever found two of these my entire 20 years of metal detecting and both of them I found um, hardcore hazel has been with me each time so she's my US Eagle breastplate good luck charm and uh, we're gonna have to get back out here and hunt these fields real soon so I hope you liked the video please subscribe uh, for future videos and we'll see you again thanks